From the moment that we are born into this world, we are ready to learn. Even as infants, we are ready to learn. We learn secular things and we learn spiritual things. And scripture says to train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. But somehow along the way, many of us have stunted our growth spiritually. And as a result of that, we have become spiritually developmentally delayed as we grew, as we found ourselves growing more and more into the secular things of the world. So as a result, we became carnal Christians as we knowingly and persistently live to please self rather than to please Christ. Listen, if you have been a Christian for five years or more, you should now be able to teach others because the milk you receive from reading and studying and practicing the word of God is the meat that gave you knowledge, wisdom, strength to work in the field of life. But yet some of us, even after 10 to 30 years of hearing the word of God are still sitting in the pews, sipping on milk, not digesting the milk, but just sitting in the pews, sipping on milk that will help you to grow in the word of God. Therefore, you aren't ready. You're unable to teach others the things of God. Your growth has been stunted. And some of you need to be born again. Because see, from zero to five is when we learn the most. Amen? But this is the thing. When we read and study the word of God, we are in training to learn the things we need to know to go on the practice field of life. To stand on righteousness. That is the meat in order to make righteous decisions and to be able to teach others about righteousness. But when your growth is stunted from lack of studying and knowing the word of God, we are now spiritually immature. A Christian on meat by the word of God knows the word of God and operates in it. A Christian on meat is able to discern good and evil. A Christian on meat knows when the enemy is trying to shoot his darts at them. A Christian on meat knows when to be still and know that God is God all by himself. He knows when and how to pray and to seek the Lord's face in times of trials, tribulations, and life challenges. A Christian on meat know how to operate on the practice field of life. He knows that joy comes in the morning. He or she knows that there's nothing new under the sun. They know that God is in the blessing business and still does miracles. A Christian or me know that God is God and he's worthy to be praised. A spiritually mature Christian whose growth has not been stunted know to run to the word of God in times of trouble and not run to secular ways. So in order for your growth not to be stunted and for you not to become spiritually, developmentally delayed, you have to use the word of God daily because just think of what will happen if you don't stunt your growth. You will be able to pick up on spiritual signals from heaven. The Holy Spirit will be able to bring God's thoughts to your mind. He will let you see things behind the scene that you cannot see with your physical eyes. Let me give you an example of that. 
from 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 14 through 17. You see, one night the king of Syria sent a great army with chariots and horses to surround the city. And when the prophet's servants saw the troops, horses, and chariots everywhere, he cried. He cried to Elijah. And Elijah told him, don't be afraid for our army is bigger than theirs. Then Elijah prayed, Lord, open his eyes and let him see. And the Lord opened the young man's eyes so that he could see horses of fire and chariots of fire everywhere up on the mountain. Therefore, when your spiritual growth isn't stunted, the Lord will allow you to see through spiritual eyes. Listen, as a believer in Jesus Christ, the world will be against you. Therefore, you absolutely do not need your spiritual growth to be stunted. This is why you need a daily refreshing by reading and studying the word of God. Because the milk that the Lord gives you in his word will enable you to chew on the meat in order to take action, to fight the good fight of faith, and to stand against the world that is against you. Therefore, we need the blessings of God, the bread and wine to strengthen and empower us, to help us war with the things that life brings. Just as Melchizedek, king of Salem, and he was the priest of the Most High God, he gave to Abraham after he warred in order to bring back Lot from captivity, he gave Abraham bread and wine to strengthen him. And you can read that in Genesis 14, verses 17 through 18. And although we are in the world, we should not be of the world. We are aliens and strangers in the world. That's what John 15, 19 tells us. We are to abstain for, from the central urges that war against our soul. And we are at war daily with the world. Once again, the world hates us. Therefore, we will run into resistance because we choose to follow Jesus. Therefore, we cannot allow our spiritual growth to be stunted so that we can continue to grow and fight the good fight of faith in the Lord and to teach others to grow into their spiritual maturity. Now, I don't own the rights to the music or the graphics, but I thank God for them. The time is now to repent. The kingdom of God is is at hand. And so I say to you today, may our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be with you until we meet again. Amen. Amen.